Welcome to our YouTube channel. Before we start the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and give this video a thumbs up. Tarantulas are among the most well-known venomous spiders and in recent years have begun to be kept as pets by some animal enthusiasts. If you're considering keeping these fascinating creatures at home, there are some important considerations to be aware of. 1. Legal Responsibilities Keeping tarantulas may require special permissions in many countries and regions. Check the laws in your area regarding tarantula ownership. Buying, selling and international shipping often require CITES documentation. Keeping tarantulas as pets is subject to legal regulations in many countries and regions. These laws arise from concerns that tarantulas might have a negative impact on native fauna or pose a potential hazard to humans. Here are some legal responsibilities to consider when owning a tarantula. If you wish to keep tarantulas as pets, you might need to obtain necessary permissions from local authorities. In some areas, a special license may be required to keep such venomous creatures. The international trade of tarantulas is often regulated by the CITES, Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species of Wild Fauna and Flora, agreement. This limits or prohibits the movement of certain species across international borders. Illegal trade of tarantulas can lead to severe penalties for both the seller and the buyer. Keeping animals purchased through illegal means can negatively impact populations in their natural habitats. While tarantulas are generally not dangerous, in the event of a bite, the owner of the tarantula might be liable for potential medical interventions when keeping a tarantula as a pet Ensuring it has good living conditions is your responsibility. This is both an ethical and legal obligation. Releasing tarantulas into the wild can disturb the ecosystem balance, and this might be illegal in some regions. If you're considering keeping a tarantula, it's imperative to first consult local laws and regulations, ensuring you fully understand all the legal obligations associated with the animal's care. This ensures the safety of both you and the creature. 2. Diet. Tarantulas are carnivorous creatures. Their primary diet consists of crickets, grasshoppers, moths and other small insects. They might also need various vitamin and mineral supplements to ensure they get the necessary nutrients. 3. Habitat. A terrarium for tarantulas typically should be at least 30 as 30 30 semitim in dimensions. Inside the terrarium, you should recreate an environment similar to their natural habitat. Tarantulas' natural habitats can range from tropical forests to deserts, depending on the species. When creating a suitable living space for a pet tarantula, you should consider these factors. Depending on the tarantula species, the size of the terrarium can vary. Generally, you should ensure there's enough space for your tarantula to spread out. However, in a too vast space, the tarantula might have difficulty finding its prey. Choose a floor material that mimics its natural habitat. For example, for tropical species, you can use moist coconut fiber or moss. For desert species, sand or dry soil might be more appropriate. Tarantulas often hide in the wild. Therefore, by adding logs, rocks or artificial caves to the terrarium, you provide them with places to hide. Depending on the tarantula species, they'll need a specific level of heat and humidity. Tropical species require high humidity and warmth, whereas desert species prefer a drier and warmer environment. Continuously monitor and adjust humidity and temperature levels as necessary. Tarantulas should not be exposed to direct sunlight. However, regular room light is usually sufficient. If you're using a night light, ensure it's a type that won't disturb the tarantula Provide food and water dishes for your tarantula. Place these dishes on the terrarium floor and clean them regularly. Regularly clean the terrarium and remove waste. Also, carefully monitor humidity levels to prevent the potential growth of bacteria and fungi within the container. By providing the right living space for your pet tarantula, you ensure its health and happiness. It also offers an ideal environment for observing the tarantula's natural behaviors, lifespan and breeding. The lifespan of tarantulas varies depending on the species, but some can live up to 20 years. Breeding involves the male tarantula 
depositing a sperm packet into the female's web. After mating, females lay their eggs within several weeks. 5. Climate Preferences Tarantulas prefer warm and humid climates. The temperature inside the terrarium should generally be between 24 to 28 degrees. Humidity levels might vary depending on the species, ranging between 50-80%. 6. Behavioral Traits Tarantulas are generally calm creatures but might attack defensively if they feel threatened. The venom of tarantulas is usually not dangerous for humans but can cause allergic reactions. In case of a bite, seeking medical attention is recommended. If you're thinking about getting a tarantula as a pet, it's strongly advised to do detailed research about these spiders and consult experts if needed. If you enjoyed our video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you.